Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeons, this will be part 6 of our Let's Play, and of course, guys, Happy New Year. What a way to round out the year, but by playing this all alone in, in your room. Feels, feels bad, man, but I do love me some Darkest Dungeons, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the most out of it. And, I mean, I'm here by choice. Alright, so... We have a bit of a team up. I have been playing a lot of this in my spare time. Not in a meaningful way. Like, not in a way that actually makes progress. Just in a way that, you know, I just play out, like, grind out low-level missions. Um, but I know kind of a lot of the basics now, I think. It's a bold claim. Um, but I've been playing with a lot of mods, too, so bit of a different experience. Not sort of super different, but a little different. So you have Noob Killer, we have Wazili in here, we have Loge and Mascot. Um, I know portraits are kind of hard to get your hands on, so we might actually take this one at the Cove. It is a short, it is an apprentice, so this seems fine to me. Ooh. You can buy Age of Scales? Interesting. How did I even notice that before? Uh, right, we need, like, eight of these, we need a stack of this. Now, the cove, I believe, has a few things that require bandages. A couple that require these. Probably need two of these. That's probably fine. Actually, I don't need those, do I? We are running a bit short on money, so this one should hopefully get us a bit of money. And, you know, solve some of those problems. And we should get away with it. Um, pretty easily. But I guess we'll have to see. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Okay, now these need, uh, that. Which should give me a lot of food. I didn't give me a lot of food, but it gave me a little. Ah, now these things... Shit, do I need the other thing? So these things can get rid of one of your bad quirks. I'm wondering if we... Ooh, maybe get rid of light sensitive off you. I think it's actually the antidote I need. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Oh, so you actually lost resolution, so we didn't lose light sensitive, but that's okay. Furious yeah, that'll... The trap maker's that'll been his, uh, his for a while. By his own eyes. Been his speed. Is it by rounds? Yeah, like it's a lot of rounds. Oof. Couple of battles here, sure. Now oh, we can do the first one. Now I really hate these little assholes. Uh, when they're in the front row, they do like seaward slash. And it is a ball ache weapon. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna bring the antiquarian. Right, so I have played around with an antiquarian as well. And they are quite interesting. Uh, we're just going to try and debuff one of these guys, I think. Because that Seaward Slash is very painful. And then they have Shamans like the Cultists, so it's very annoying as well. Yeah, you can see like six damage. It's quite a bit. It's not tons. But it's enough to be worried. Um... Honestly, just swap out here. I can't really afford to, like, hit you with some stress by not doing anything. Nice try. My Jester should have massive dodge by now, and let's just get rid of him. We'll get rid of him, we'll protect ourselves from the stress. Probably even shouldn't have actually brought Noob Killer. That was probably a misplay. Just because he's got such high stress already. Nice. Broken. And then... The uh, do you have anything to de-stress? No. Okay. Irrelevant. Just smite him then. Give him the smite. Take all that. Beware. So yeah, this is what the Antiquarian gives Triumphant you. You get antiques after battles and stuff. Fall. And they are pretty good, but yeah, the Antiquarian himself, or herself I guess, is a pretty crappy competitor. 
Um, they don't have super, like a lot of super good attacks or buffs or heals. They're just kind of shit. But in this case, we might be able to make something happen. Right, we will do this. Feels bad doing that, though, because it does kind of waste our... Waste our Crusader. Since he doesn't have any abilities for the third slot, like, at all. Oh, wait. Rude. Yeah, so spearfishing, not as bad. I know it hit a six there, um, but that's pretty rare. The Seaward Slash hits, like, six plus. I think the spear, I've very rarely seen it hit more than a six. If ever. At least in Apprentice Link. So basically, in terms of what I've done in my spare time, I have not done any missions over an Apprentice. So like, I've just been grinding, basically. I haven't really been playing the game so much as I've just been grinding out the shit stuff. Just to kind of play around and have my fun without spoiling the game for myself. So I haven't fought any bosses, haven't sort of done anything. But it's still fun. Like, this is a game you can sort of jump in, do like one, one expedition, and then you're kind of good. Okay, so you're dead. Yep. Good. Unfortunately, now this guy is in range for his Seaward Slash, because I think they can't do it from the back two. I think it has to be front two. Uh, do we... There's no real point soloing again. We might as well just stab. It just shuffles him forward one, which we're sort of okay with. We're just going to focus the Guardian, because he's already guarding the Grouper anyway. Groper, I guess it is. So we kind of don't need it. You know, it doesn't do anything for us. So yeah, the, the Cove's full of these guys. Yeah, see, there's a nine. Like, ugh. Hurts bad. It's for all those guys. They don't hit terribly hard, but they're just kind of all-around annoying. Uh, I'm also realizing right now that we don't have a healer. Which is a bit of a dilemma. Uh, yeah, no, we can't afford for that to happen. Sure. Okay, I, I'm not still not going to pretend I'm an expert at this, but I do know a bit more about at least the very early game now. Okay, I probably want to put a stun on him if I can. We might have to retreat from this one. I forgot that we didn't have a healer. I didn't check my party or anything. I just assumed it would be ready from last time. And that was my mistake. Uh, actually, yeah, that's probably better. And then we can just smash up this guy. Now, the stupid shaman is going to get to go. Normally the shamans and the cultists and the... Anything that can hit you with stress often goes very quickly. Like, they have a very high speed. Which is very annoying. Okay, Wazili, I'm not going to let you die. I hope. I might just have to feed you up a little bit. But it'll be fine. Trust me. Trust me, you'll be fine. What's your death blow resist chance? 6-7%. Okay. So you have quite a good resistance to death blows anyway. Uh, we will feed you up a bit, though. Uh, actually, there's nothing in here, is there? We saw that, yeah. Okay. Just means, noob killer, you might have to pull your weight a bit. We have had a lot of battles, though, to be fair. Uh, we'll just throw one of these down. Uh, yeah, you do it. Nice. So as long as I avoid taking damage, we should get through it okay. There's probably only one or two more battles. Uh, yeah. Eat up. And then we'll just go in. We won't bother with a torch just yet. Because we might actually we'll do this, then we might get a scout, which we did. 
Uh, two more battles. That, that sucks. We're getting a lot of battles in between areas. Which is kind of inconvenient, especially for, like, clear 100% of room battles, because it's just sapping your life more and more, basically. As you, uh, get further in. You're kleptomaniac, aren't you? Yeah. That's annoying. Kleptomaniacs are a pain in my ass. A fortune waiting to be spent. Okay. Uh... Oh, you're full. Right. Because we probably shouldn't have to eat again. Oh yeah, the stingers. These guys are kind of annoying. Very low health, though. They just continually hit you with stuns. Pretty sure we'll be able to deal with them, though. Oh, nice. Two and... Oh, one damage per round, right. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Nice, and then we'll just... Ah... Oh. It is the only problem with the lepers. Um, their base attack has very low hit chance, so they will often just fail you when you need them to not. We're going to have two stuns here. That's going to be pretty awkward. Good dodge. Ooh, no. Okay, we can get a, get a stab in. Or not. Okay, he's going for the bleed attack. That's kind of okay. Yep. Uh, with stand, self... Nah, just rotate back in. See, so yeah, what is our hit chance here? 78%. So you can see it down down here is where it lives. I, I only noticed this pretty recently, which is very sad, but it tells you how much damage you're going to do, what's your chance to hit, and what's your chance to crit. Back to the pit. So I'm willing to bet we've just been kind of unlucky. Nice try. These guys, I think, don't hit... In terms of stress, like, they don't hit as hard as the the human cultists. But they can hit groups, which is kind of annoying. But definitely, like, the human cultists, they drop you by 15 stress, like, every turn. Which just really sucks. Okay, so we're gonna eat up, because we can. And, yeah, you might just, like... So we're on 26, 28, so... The match Oops, is not what I wanted. A blazing Wrong button. Star is born. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Sort it out. Let's go. And actually, in terms of stress, we've kind of done okay here. Ah, yes, there it is. The Acolyte, that's what I'm talking about. Why would you do that? I guess it's higher accuracy. Yeah, I see 15. Ugh, that's so annoying. Uh, we'll probably just try and drop your accuracy so that stops hitting. Apparently not. Ouch. It's a light bleed. But if we can get a heavy bleed on her... Okay, we're off to a good start. Just delete that guy. Crusaders are amazing. Like, noob killer, you are... you are tops. Although they just protected her, which is a lot more annoying. So obviously, when I play for YouTube, I'm going to be a bit more aggressive. Because, like, as I said, in my spare time, I've kind of done, like, nothing. Um, you know, it's kind of amounted to nothing. So I'll try and be just a little bit more aggressive in, in this. I'll start, you know, pushing, like, the veteran level challenges as soon as possible and as soon as I have a team I'm confident can do it, I'll start doing it. Whereas in my spare time, you know, I've got like 10 heroes that are level like 3 and 4 and I just don't do level 3 challenges because I don't want to spoil it. I want to experience it with you guys first. Uh, he should be dead now, right? 5 damage? Yeah, he did. So we'll just give him a give him a stab. Hiya! And you know what? I think you can actually intimidate, intimidate that guy. Debuff him with less damage and speed works out well. Because we're gonna drag him forward, and that lower speed might. 
be enough for us to get the first hit in, which is what I want. Good. We'll take all this. And we are going to continue adventuring just for a second. Because I do not remember what... We're actually going to do it with him. Because I don't remember what this does. We purify it? Okay, we do. Oh, it just buffs you. Pfft, that's useless. What a useless thing to have at the end of a dungeon. Nice. The things are driven back. We made six thousand dollar dues plus another three thousand. Very good. What do we get? Beast Slayer, known cheat. That's fine. That's kind of annoying. Slugger is quite good. Not on an antiquarian though. Now that I think about it. Ouch. The poor caretaker. Uh, resurrection of our ramshackle Hamlet has lured brave artisans and merchants who see potential in the vacant lots surrounding the town. Right. So now you get. A blueprint, which I've got in my other game. Um, so you can build, like, all these different things, to providing you have the requirements for it. Personally, in my game, I saved up for a really long time, and I got the bank. Um, because investing in sort of gold early on seems like a good idea. You know, investing in, like, just getting 5% extra gold every week seems pretty good. Uh, new killer, you need a break. Now, you don't have to pray. No, you can't anyway, but maybe you go, maybe you go meditate. I think that's fine. Crusader meditating seems good. Uh, alright, we'll sort this. We'll take a kind of shitty team on the next one. We do have three spaces for recruits as well. So we do not have... A Houndmaster? Doesn't look like it. Or did he die? Have we had any deaths in this one? Nope. Okay, so we don't have a Houndmaster, so we'll bring one of those. A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. And then we might want an occultist. We might want another one. Because they are kind of healers. One must know it. And then we'll hold off on another one. Now, we have 12 busts. I don't think we're going to have enough to sort of upgrade anything meaningful. Uh, cheaper? Cheaper with paintings? Yeah. Probably good. Oh, we don't have enough crests. Never mind. That requires crests. Um, okay, so we could do one of these. Maybe... Uh, well, actually, no. We'll do the cloister because it just increases stress recovery. So that can be... That can be uh, after the fact. Uh, plus four dodge, plus one speed. That's actually not terrible. We might equip that right now. Where is our boy? There he is. Boom. And yeah. We'll probably still take Wasili. We might dump the Antiquarian. Okay, we might just remake our squad. So let's sort by level. We'll bring a low level squad and go for some apprentice level like this one. Uh, do you have the heal? You do. Okay, so I think you are going to be our back rower. You can do Abyssal Artillery. Yeah, so Hands from the Abyss are up front, but that's kind of okay. Um, in case he gets dragged to the front, he has an ability. We're not just going to have to be forced to throw him back. Hound's Rush is good. Cry Havoc, I haven't used. Guard Dog's not bad, and Lick Wounds. Okay, so what I normally have is Target Whistle. Uh, because he does extra damage based on marked, which is what Target Whistle does. Okay, so we have you, which you have quite a strong set. Would be nice to get you Serpent Sway, so we might look at that in a minute. But you've got that, then we have a Bounty Hunter. They're usually good from second spot, and it definitely seems like he is. I know I said we bring a really low level one, but, you know, this is probably fine. Um, but we will look at some skills. Now, can I... Do this. Can I get for you Serpent Sway? Very good ability. So I want this, uh, this. Uh, Bypass of Stealth is pretty good. What else do I use? No, I think that's what I have. I have these ones. So if we're going to do a short mission, we probably want about five grand in the bank. Uh, just to be safe so that we can provision correctly. At least in my experience. But we might... 
I, stress minus two, 66% chance is kind of shit. Because since I think it's going to be self. It doesn't say self, so you can target anyone and reduce stress, but two is not really worth writing home about. Um, wow, that's actually kind of good. But we're going to go for target whistle. Again, I know we're going to be under five grand now, but I think that's going to be worth it. So we will take off that, put on that. We will take off this, put on that. Uh, everything else should be fine and dandy. Uh, we're going to go to the Wield, I think. Because these will all be mediums. That's Short Apprentice. For an Arbalist, do we have an Arbalist in this game? No, not yet. Arbalists are pretty good, so maybe that is worth grabbing. I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, no, okay. We'll do this. Now, the wield. So we'll get the essentials first. The wield, I believe, has a lot of this stuff. Not as much holy water. It's usually worth to take a couple of skeleton keys. And I guess some bandages. We'll take like one holy water. We also have dog treats. Honestly, in the early stages, I tend to toss them. I, I always forget to use them, and I don't really rate them that highly. I'll check them out here, just to be doubly sure, but... Yeah, I don't really rate them. The soil. Oh, it has to be used. From these groves. It has to be used on our turn. So we have to complete 100% of room battles. So hopefully we can scout on this square. Ah, uh, yeah. Knock that down. To the spreading corruption. Yeah, hopefully we can, on this square here, we um, scout. That would be what we want, because then we can see which way we have to go, and if we have to go both ways. Nope, no scouting here. Uh, key. Thanking you. That's a lot of crests. Now it must be carried home. Ah, and then grave digging. Hakao says, ah, sometimes grave digging pays off. It's like, it pays off pretty much every time, I think. I, personally, I have never seen it not pay off. Abyssal artillery, definitely the play. We didn't get a good hit on it, though. We will do this. So this gives Aegis. Yeah, which it'll tell us about. So, you absorb 100% of the damage. So when they attack us, we will completely protect ourselves. Which is massively useful. If they actually attack us. But it does carry over till next turn. We get it just forever, basically. So you can see there, like, we get a full block. It's just any damage that was going to be done isn't done. If we do actually get hit, status effects still happen to us, but actual damage does not, so it becomes very useful. Yeah, so that doesn't count. That doesn't burn one off, because it didn't actually hit us. But, there we go. So she managed to get through that with no damage. Right, get rid of him. Uh, we will try and heal you. Nice, we got an 8. And you resisted the bleed. So... Weird reconstruction I've kind of started to love. Just because... Like... 0 to 13 as a heal is kind of shit. Um, but if you get a high one, like if you do get a 10 to 13... That is a very powerful heal. And the bleed for 60% base is quite low. Like, it's very low. So that's 60% chance it's going to happen. And I think the way it applies is then it does this. So we actually had quite a low chance of avoiding that. But we managed to avoid it anyway. It's like, that's, you know... It shows you that that, that resist and that bleed is actually quite shit. Like, it's, it's fine, you know, chances of you actually being hit by that, pretty low. Alright, come on, scout. Oh, enemies. Now, these ectoplasm things, I friggin' hate them. We might just have to soak a few hits from the stressful incantations and focus on these ectoplasms. We want to get them low and kill them at the same time, ideally. 
Uh, we're actually going to impale. Ah, shit, we killed that one. Because we don't have anything. Oh, no, yes, we do. Yes, okay. Because they can, like, summon more of their friends. Or they summon more if there's gaps. So if there is space to get more, they will get more. Including corpses. So they can, like, rapidly spiral out of control if you don't sort it. Also, does that darken our torch? I believe it does. Huh. How did I not notice that? Nice. Thanking you. Be wary. Triumphant uh, pride precipitates boom. a dizzying. Give me the goodies. Thank you. Uh, we'll rotate back out. And we got a scout. Nice. We should have uh, increased our Watsy. Yeah, so we don't even have to go down at all. So I'm not going to. Because I don't have a shovel left. Yeah. I don't have a shovel left. Uh, we will pop a torch. Probably even two torches, because we'll the drop enough that we probably clear. need it. We require nice, we got the surprise. That's what we like to see. We'll tickle him a little bit. We will... Uh, we can just hopefully the kill the pit. one at the front. Nice. We'll hopefully kill this one. Executed nice. And then we're going to go for the impale to finish. Boom. It's just that easy. A trifling just victory. that easy. We a crush it. Uh, we got some boys here. Now, I think we just want to kill that one if we can. Obviously, the if we can is the trick. And I don't think we will be able to. Unless we get very lucky here. Oh, we do. Okay. Because the fungal artillery dudes, they, like, mark your people. And those guys can hit you very hard. But once, once the fungal... I think they're called shamblers or something. Once they're down... These guys kind of do fuck all. I think they just more or less try to mark you every single turn. And that just kind of doesn't do anything. Like, who cares? You know, they do barely any damage and they'll just try to mark you. There, there's one dead. Oh no, okay, so they do... Alright, he wants to move back, yeah. Because they want to be in the back row. But even so, that's tiny amount of damage left over. Tickle him with the artillery again. So I didn't realize till I was talking to a friend that plays as well that the shield breakers are actually DLC and I think that really sucks because the shield breakers are amazing. That should not be locked behind a paywall. So, like, I haven't played the base game, so I don't know... Okay, I think we're going to continue adventuring for a bit. We do have two more rooms that we can sort of look at. But, um, yeah, like, I haven't played the base game. I don't know how hard it is in general. But these shield breakers make everything not easy, but they definitely can pull their own weight. Like, easily pull their own weight. Uh, also, we should probably... Oh, we can do this and then just eat all that. Sure, we'll have another little snack. Uh, so we know that these are all going to be empty, because we've completed all the room battles. But maybe there's some curios in between that we want, or just like more stuff. You know, there's two more busts, uh, which we can't carry, but we can dump the dog treats. Like, yeah, we might run into some battles, but at this stage, we're pretty good. Considering you don't need to heal in between battles. Or in between expeditions. <laughs> dogs against dogs. Yeah, since you don't have to... Like, heal. You just get a full heal week to week. It's only stress that carries over. Like, unless they're going to kill someone, which I think is pretty unlikely... They might kill him, but that'd be 
hell of a job. They are getting a good run, though. Yes, he's still only one. Ugh, I guess that's kind of annoying. Now he's got rabies. Which I think they targeted him because he has a low bleed resistance. Yeah, they seem to be trying to get everyone to bleed. Um, no, we'll just kill someone. Get him out of here. And you can throw this on you. Ah, we got the zero, probably a bleed too, yeah. Now that is unfortunate. We can fix this. That Another still sucks. Falls. Yeah, that, that was the worst case scenario. So I'm going to hope that that was all the bad luck. Ouch. Reeling. About to break. Again, I said this didn't really matter, and it kind of doesn't, but we're really getting hammered with all the bad luck right now. For example, all these dodges. There we go. Okay, we got a crit, which will partially make up for their crit. Uh, okay, we have one more thing here, which doesn't actually help us, because it's just going to give us food. Yeah. Go figure. We're gonna end this here. Driving out corruption is an endless battle. But we did do an alright job. We only got two fought. grand, and we do have rabies now, so we're probably gonna have to treat that. Which is kind of expansive. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling okay. chaos. Jackie A came back. Destroyed. And we're gonna treat your rabies. Uh enjoy. Alright, we did. We got some shit done this episode. So we're going to end this episode here. But thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.